Hi everyone, we are so happy to be with you on this Tuesday, Election Tuesday. The words that we thought would be appropriate for us to reflect upon with you today are from Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4. Listen here to God's word. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility regard others as better than yourselves. Let each of you look not to your own interests, but to the interests of others. Some people think they know how a Christian should vote. They say, if you're a Christian, you'll vote Democrat. Or some people say, if you're a Christian, you vote Republican. One of the founding principles of our denomination is that there are matters of conscience about which people of equally good character can disagree. So we don't think either of those things, but we do think there's a way, it is a, a Christian matter to consider how you vote. We believe that when you vote, you don't just think about what's good for me or my little subgroup, but you think about the good of the commonwealth, of the, the whole. And likewise, we believe that how you vote should come out of your being fair-minded and studying the issues on both sides. What's commonplace in American political life right now is people don't make a case for their position, they just impugn the character of people who disagree with them. And when you say that somebody's not just wrong but bad because they are wrong on a position, you harden them in their position. But if you treat them as a decent person and make your case, maybe you'll win them. Sort of like evangelism, we believe Christ is the best thing that ever came down the pike. And so we want to introduce people to Jesus because he's blessed us so much. But if we want to do that, we have to listen to people, understand their line of thinking, and maybe open their minds to giving him a second look. And so as we go to the voting places today or turn in our ballots, we need to be able to do that prayerfully with open ears to hear God's leading to listen to those that are speaking around us, but to determine where we need to go. Also, one of the um, founding things of our, of our denomination, the Presbyterians, is that the Lord's the Lord of your conscience. And so that's how you need to vote, that the Lord is the Lord of your conscience. So if you take that time with God, you take the time to listen to others, you take the time to reflect. May the Lord be the Lord of your conscience, not only as you vote today, but as you live each and every moment of your days. We look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.